Welcome to Adam Shop channel. I'm your host Muhammad Azam, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with core data. Uh, so let me go ahead and start Xcode. So for those who are not aware what core data is, core data is basically an object relational mapper which is built right into the iOS framework. Okay, and what you can do is you can perform CRUD operations, which which is uh, create, read, update, and delete operations. And uh, it also takes care of the versioning problems. If your data model changes, if your schema changes, you can act, update into a different model and uh, version it to be the next model. Okay, and, and you're gonna see that how it actually works. We are going to use SQL Lite. Uh, so the application name is called Fruit Market. And Device family is iPhone, and I have uh, checked over here that use core data. So let's go ahead and uh, create this application. So when you create this application, one thing you will notice is that if you open the appdelegate.m file, you will see all these things which are included for the core data. This is the managed object context which is uh, responsible for uh, fetching the item, for persisting the items, and this is the object model which we'll uh, see uh, in this application. Okay, so if you click on the data model, you will see the screen. This is kind of like a designed view to create your model. Your model will be persisted into uh, the database, okay, database tables. And you have different styles. You can uh, use this Explorer or you can use this. So I'm just going to use the default one, add an entity, call an entity fruit. This is my model. I can add attribute to it. I can say name and select a type to it, uh, which will string. I can add uh, calories. And let's actually say integer 32. And I can save it. Uh, you can also view it in a different view, okay, right, uh, kind of like a class diagram. It really depends, I mean, what, what view you like. I usually use this particular view, okay. So now your fruit, you have created a model fruit, which has two properties, calories and name, okay. And now we can uh, go ahead and persist it. Uh, one other thing you would like to do is create the generated classes which will present a fruit. So you can go to editor and say create NS manage object subclass. Okay. And I usually click this so I can use the scalar properties for primitive types uh, like integer and all that stuff. Uh, so you can say create and you will see that it will create two more files over here fruit.h and fruit.m. Now these are automatically uh, generated files. Okay and uh, basically you can use these files in your application. So, all right, so let's go over here and I'm going to create a method self insert fruit. Okay, and I can simply create this method over here which will be insert fruit and we get ns manage context we will just get the hold of the uh, manage context, okay? And what type of object that you are inserting? So I'm just going to say fruit over here, and it's a good idea to add the class over here, the header files associated with the fruit. So fruit, and then which is entity description. Let me see. Uh, let's see what is what. Uh, what do we have uh, over here? I think it should be NS entity description, and then insert new object since we are inserting the object, and we are going to uh, basically enter the name of the model, which in this case is fruit and the context, which in this case is context itself. And we can assign different values to it. Name equal to apple. Fruit dot calories equal to 120. And then we can simply save it if 
um, we can say over here context save and if there are any errors while saving we're just gonna handle it in the error uh, instance which is uh, over here and we can say so this is just to add the insert the entity and we can say error localized description okay so when this uh, now runs it's going to invoke uh, when this application runs it's going to invoke the insert fruit and it's going to uh, insert the fruit into the into the uh, database okay if you're wondering what the database name is if you scroll down you will see the exact name of the database uh, it should be called fruitmarket.sqlite and under the persistent store coordinator okay so let me run this and see if there are any problems when we are inserting uh, the data into the database so it shows the white screen and uh, we can see the uh, that they, it really didn't have any problems but now the problem is the question is where is our database stored okay so if you scroll down over here this is the stored URL so we're just going to make a breakpoint over here okay and run it again this will give us the URL of the SQL light uh, database and if you see the stored URL uh, I don't know if you can see this but I'll, I'll copy it okay uh, let's see so this is the whole URL and I'm just gonna copy it into terminal okay okay so basically I went to went and go went ahead and in, in this path so this is the path where the uh, you know with the database is stored and if I say LS you can actually see the database fruit market or SQL light okay uh, what I will do next is I will simply move this database to a different position so if I go over here into my uh, application what I will do is I will simply move this over here in this folder okay so where is the terminal here is the terminal we're just gonna say copy fruit market dot SQL light okay and we are going to copy it right over here as soon as I copy it you can see it appears over here and now I can open it so let me close this so I'm using um, what is this called the uh, well, where is that tool uh, the uh, add-on here, here it is well, that's not it let me close this and reopen uh, Firefox so Firefox if you want to just view the data if you also want to insert the data you can use the SQL light manager it's a Firefox plugin and now I can simply go and say database connect to database and fruit market and open it and you can see that I think we run, run it like two times so there are two entries for Apple okay you can edit it and you can do other stuff with it so that's pretty much it uh, we saw that how to get started with um, core data and how to persist your entities in the SQLite database and you also saw how to find out the path where the database is actually stored okay that's uh, pretty much it I uh, hope you like this video and if you do like this video I'm always accepting donations that uh, goes towards the building of these applications you can send out the donations using the PayPal at azamsharp at gmail.com okay thank you very much